Today, Lavenich takes on what is probably the island's most important food offering, rabbit, the most quintessential of Maltese meats. The thing is, nowadays, there's so much more to the gamey flavor than your nana stofat. That's why we've teamed up with Bolt to run around the island and check out some modern takes on the most classic of classic meats. So right now, we're about to try a very unique take on rabbit, something I've never tried before. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it before. Delivery is here because this place does not have a shop yet. Let me go grab it and get tasting. All right, guys, so here we are. We got a nice delivery from Rocky's Authentic Ftira. So these guys literally just opened up like a week or two ago. They've got quite a bunch of Ftiras, but we are obviously only interested in the rabbit Ftira. I mean, I usually have rabbit on pasta, you know, fried rabbit, etc., etc. But today we're going to look at some funky ways to eat rabbit. This is really exciting, actually. As soon as you open the package, the smell of a full-on rabbit dinner. When you take a quick look inside, you've got white rabbit meat, you've got potato, you've got gravy, you've got the spices. So we've got a nice, oops, we lost the ftira there. The ftira is warm, a little bit crispy, not too crispy at all, quite soft. But listen, enough of the talking. Let's get into the biting. Oh my God. Why didn't they invent this before? A little bit of bone, never hurt nobody. Rabbit roll, rabbit. <laughs> so obviously, Look out for the rabbit bones. You get that rabbit juice all up in the ftira, baby. Very Maltese. I could not imagine eating this dish anywhere else in the world. Now, I gotta say, tourists, this is pretty much perfect for y'all. I mean, if you've never tried rabbit before, this is an accessible, not too strong, not too gamey way to eat Malta's finest meat. Now, what you have to remember about Rockies is that they do not have an actual brick and mortar store. It is delivery only. Uh, you can order via Bolt. I am going to rate this a solid 8.0, right on the dot. Definitely deserves it for the fact that it's so accessible, even though I do have to warn you, watch out for the bones, but combining Ftira with rabbit is awesome. That's why I am naming this the Limnaria. Obviously, that is a festa that celebrates the best of Maltese culture and tradition. The fact that we got the Maltese meat and the Maltese bread combined with a little bit of gravy and Maltese potatoes, I mean, it's festa time, baby. Rockies in an undisclosed location, Malta. Now, when most people think of going out for rabbit, they think of places like Imjar, maybe Bidnia, these really traditional, old school, sleepy villages. But if you come down to Salina Bay in the limits of Nashar, you can check out Giuseppe's Bar and Bistro, and they are taking the humble rabbit to the next level. Let's run inside and see what they got cooking for us. Right here, we have got deep fried, battered rabbit bellies, and it looks serious. I mean, it's served on a bed of wakami. It comes with a beautiful dressing. I'm smelling coriander. I'm smelling ginger. We've got some red, beautiful peppercorns. Presentation on point. This is rabbit elevated to the next level, for real. And it is time to see if the taste follows the look. Oh my God, that is some white meat. This is really, really special. It's rabbit like you've never tried it before. The fact that you've got rabbit in a totally different flavor profile. Wow, the batter really reminds me of like a tempura batter. Very, very light, very, very light. No bread, no chips, carbless. This barely tastes like rabbit and not in a bad way. This is a very light summery take on a traditional gamey meat we have in Malta. For me, I have to rate this a solid 8.5. I am going to name this the white rabbit, of course. Just look at it. Look at that coloring. Even the belly itself is very white meat. Um, very different than the typical browns that you might be used to when you get rabbit and the thick gravy. Come on down to Salina if you want to try rabbit in a very, very summer way, very light way, very white way. Giuseppe's Salina. Okay guys, so here we are in one of my favorite towns in Malta, Hamrun outside. Little Bones Farm Roast. Apparently they take your typical farm meats like rabbit and other type of meats and they serve it takeaway from this little shop. The thing is, I just found out they're gonna close up here, reopen in Birkakara, but we're here before they close to try out their take on rabbit. All right, this is nuts. Like there's an entire rabbit garden takeaway, about to eat it in the piazza of Hamrun, and they did not leave any part out. We've got the liver and everything. You've got the leg. I don't even know what this is, but we got it. We got all the bits. Look at that drip too. We got the drip going on. 
the fact that you have a nice, beautiful, warm tira. I, I can't explain how fragrant these goddamn potatoes are. Enough talking, more eating. I, you know what, I think I'm gonna grab this bad boy over here. That rabbit flavor, man, as soon as I bite into it. Memories, family meals, it wouldn't be proper rabbit if you don't dip the bread in the gravy. It's worth buying for the gravy alone. Holy cow. Now this meal, I mean, I guess it's enough of one hungry person, but two or three people are gonna feast like kings. Now, I'm making my way through this rabbit, but it's a bit too much for one man to handle. That's why I'm gonna call in for some help. Our boat driver, Steve. Steve, how you doing, man? Okay, I'm okay, fine. You okay? You? I'm good, I'm, I need your help. All I can ask you is, take a bite and tell me what you think. Sure. It's nice, tasty. Do you have a, a favorite part? Maybe the legs or another part? The liver I don't like. The liver you don't like? We have a big piece of liver here, man, if you want. What do you think? Shall we give it no thumbs up, one thumbs up, or two thumbs up? No, it's two thumbs up. He didn't even need to think about that. Two thumbs up, official, bought, approved. Okay, the fact that I could eat an entire rabbit in the Hamrun Piazza with bread and potatoes is an awesome thing. I like what Little Bones are doing. For me, this is definitely getting a solid 8.4, and I am naming this the Easter egg. Why? Because when I picked it up, that big package, it was all wrapped up. I had no idea what I was gonna find inside, even though I expected a pleasant surprise. Little Bones, Hamrun, soon to be Birkakara. All right, so we had to come to Umjar. Of course we did. This is ground zero for rabbit in Malta. We're about to hit up Dine West and see what a family-run restaurant can cook up for us. Now, we're here for the rabbit, of course. Today is all about rabbit, but the Dine West family insisted that I had to try their babouche, their snail. So they've got this beautiful serving of snails here with some Maltese bread and butter. They serve toothpicks in the plastic, so they're taking their cleanliness super serious here. Let me just grab one of these bad boys out. In jar life, baby. Ooh, wow. Let me get some of the dip. Welcome to Mjar, the home of Maltese flavors. <laughs> this is awesome. So this is possibly my favorite form of rabbit with pasta. Beautiful, you got these nice thick peas. Look how big these peas are. Like what is going on in Mjar? Like what are they putting in their peas for them to be so big? You got these carrot chunks. You've got tomato, you've got onion. You've probably got some garlic in here. You've got some parsley on top. This is classic, typical rabbit served in a rich tomato sauce. My mouth is watering just looking at it. Look at that. You can see the flavor. Look at that. And then look at it again. And then imagine what it tastes like. It tastes very fresh, man. You've got all these vegetables jumping out at you. It doesn't feel heavy at all, even though you're eating literal pasta. Let me try some of the fennec, some of the rabbit right now. The guys inside, the Dine West family, brought out these potatoes. These are Maltese potatoes, local products. They are legit. I do really love these kind of places. Family-run businesses, you've got the mom and the dad, you've got the daughter. Service is impeccable, super friendly. They won't stop bringing out food and drinks. So I am going to rate this a solid 8.3. This is the kind of dish you want if you want, you know, that typical, traditional, classic rabbit on pasta. I'm going to name this the Tal Familia. Of course I am. I mean, like I said, as soon as I went inside, I felt like I was being welcomed at home, like I was at my own parents' house or my nonna's house. The cooking was definitely on that line and the fact that they kept on bringing more and more dishes, I mean, that's a Maltese family, baby. Dine West and Jar. Now, I am not gonna lie, on a hot day like this, at the peak of summer with all this traffic on the road, it is a godsend and a lifesaver to have someone like Bolt, have our driver, Steven, taking care of us. I mean, it is super clean inside here. AC'd up, air condition is on full. Bolt is available in Gozo as well. You know, you don't have to deal with parking. You don't have to hassle with anything. So you know what to do, order Bolt. All right guys, so we're back in Hamrun, one of my favorite towns in Malta to try a very special little restaurant, The Journey. Now, if you know anything about these guys, they're all about the exotic meats, crazy burgers, crazy pizzas, and we're here to try their horse and rabbit pizza. And we've got a very, very special guest to join me, Chris Perigine, CEO and founder of Love & Malta. How's it going, Chris? 
Good, I'm very excited. I'm a big fan of rabbit like so <laughs> a lot of you might know Chris from his political pieces his awesome Facebook statuses but for people who know him from his earlier days he's a big foodie massive foodie that's why I had to bring him in to try this rabbit and horse pizza what do you think of this pizza so I love rabbit I love horse I not such a fan of putting a lot of stuff on pizza I'm not such a fan of pizza actually oh, like wow. I, that's a, even in my bigger days yeah. I wasn't too much of a fan of pizza but Chris wasn't always this nice, slim, physique shape, you know? <laughs> and his trainer is probably gonna get angry at me for bringing him over. I'm just gonna have to have one piece and that's it, like, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Shall we run in and get a try in? Let's go inside. Thank you, chef. Thank you very much, enjoy. Here we are, guys. Rabbit and horse pizza. This is definitely a love and eat first. Probably a first for many Maltese people. Let's unveil it, Chris. Let's unveil. Oh, wow. Whew. Check out that color. Look at this. So this is basically Malta on a pizza. We've got horse, we've got rabbit, we've got jibena, we've got some sesame seeds. I'm smelling caramelized onions. There's some barbecue flavor in here. Okay. How does it look? Let's dig in, man. Let's it's amazing. It. Nice and fresh. Oh, oh my God. It is nice and hot. We are in Hamroon. We are right next to the street, doing it love and eat style, doing it big. Let's dig in. The onions. Remind me a bit of like the spaghetti, like rabbit spaghetti, you, you're getting that? Yep. No, no, the rabbit's jumping out. So I would definitely say this is more of a rabbit pizza than a horse pizza. The actual pizza itself is nice and crispy. The crust is lovely. Really love the crust. Every bite is jam-packed full of flavor. You're gonna kill me. I'm just gonna have to have pizza. one piece and that's it. <laughs> oh my God. The horse meat is actually minced. See, with these little clumps of horse meat, it's awesome. Whereas the rabbit meat is more pulled, you've got chunks of rabbit meat. The jibena is a really nice addition. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect jibena to work with them, but it does. I mean, we demolished our slices. My belly. It's in his belly, it's in my belly. Obviously, we have a special guest, so I'm gonna hand the name and the rating over to you, Chris. So for me, the name is obvious. <laughs> it's the second wave what? pizza because you get the rabbit and then like it, the horse meat oh, that hits you. Wow, and I like that. The rating, I think it's a solid 8.75. <laughs> the journey, home road. Okay guys, so here we are. The final location of the final episode of season two of Love and Eats. I'm not really sure if you can book a table anytime here soon, though you can probably recreate this setting with your own family. We're back here in a field in Dweira, limits of Rabat, to see my father, Chef Paolo, whip up his take on Fennec Motley. Let's see what the Chilia family can whip up. Here we are, last dish of the season, Fennec Motley homeschool style a la Chilia. We are here, I've got some family, I got some friends over. We pulled up in a field, we've got the beautiful sun over there, we've got the sea over here, and it is time for us to eat. Fennec, chips, jibana tarbzar, rasa al fennec, al mbeit, al mbeit min tiay, so we are approaching the end of the meal. We've got a goat here, we've got a dog on a table. I don't know what he's doing there. Fennec Motley, Chilia style. So very, very tasty. You've got some red wine in this. I think there was some curry in the sauce as well, as you said. Now, usually I have to name and rate. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, of course, because otherwise he's gonna kick my ass. And I have to name this the Genitalard Fennec, of course. I mean, one bite of this and you're in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, that brings us to another end of a glorious episode of Love and Eats, and indeed the end of an entire season, season two of Love and Eats. Today, we took a tour through some of Malta's best rabbit joints, and I have to say, I was left full and satisfied. We've just devoured a glorious feast cooked up by my dad, Chef Paolo, right here. But I gotta say, judging from the way all the plates are empty here, it wasn't only me that enjoyed today. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey. Season two, Love and Eats, cannot believe it's coming to an end. See you guys in season three. Cheers. Cheers. We're hitting? Okay, we're good. Okay. Jaden, hey, Jaden.
Today, Love & Each takes on probably the most important of the Maltese meats, rabbit. Whoop, I was supposed to take off the... <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are at one of my favorite towns. Of... <laughs> Let's do it again, keep it rolling, sorry. I just, I just love Hamroon too much. No, <laughs> What am I doing here? <laughs> this is... <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs>